Good morning, fam, and welcome to 2024. As I lay in my bed, I'm contemplating on, do I get up? Do I go to the gym? Do I zoom on Instagram? Do I check my notifications on Snapchat? Or perhaps some of the other sites that I'm enrolled in. Then it just kind of comes to my mind that, T, you remember we're not checking other sites. We're supposed to be getting up, journaling the first 10, 15 minutes of our day before our feet touch the floor, just kind of writing down our inner thoughts. But sometimes we can have information overload and it just kind of calls us to kind of be in a fog or may I say a funk. Um, let's just say that describes the last maybe two weeks of my life. Um, throughout the end of 2023, I did spend a lot of time um, going on YouTube, just kind of tuning into channels that were more self-reflecting, uh, more like self-help, um, ways to, let's say, just kind of focus on you and make a better you every day, not just for the new year, but just every day. Um, sometimes we can sit back and we can just revisit our life, the good things, the bad things, the things that are working out for us, the things that are not working out for us. But in reality, um, life is about change. But sometimes if change is necessary, um, if you have to revisit some of your old ways that once made you happy, then it's imperative that you do do a self check and just remember the things that made you powerful, gave you the strength to push through anything you might have encountered in your life during that time. Um, as I start my day today, again, I'm just reflecting on some stuff I just kind of learned throughout the year, such as number one, um, let's say I'm going to actually get my notebook and just kind of like jot some things down and just kind of have a structural way of um, like a routine of how my day would start. So I know my day would start a little different per se if I'm not working that day. When I say working, working for my employer. And then on the other hand, with me entering into entre entrepreneurship, if I'm not working for the employer, I'll be working for myself. And that day might start a little different as well. But what's important is not to lose sight of the routine, but just maybe modify it a little bit according to the time that you're working with. So days I'm working for my employer, my days start kind of early because I have to report and be somewhere um, to clock in at a specific time. But before those things can occur, I do have children that I have to get prepared for school and just make sure I make sure they are safe and um, together before I enter into the institution that I have me on lock for 12 hours. So I do and I would like to start my days with a bit of journaling, a bit of a layout of what I want my day to consist of, more so an, an agenda for today. Uh, I am a person that operates very well off a checklist. 2023, I have um, found myself to be happy to develop a checklist in daily. And then the more that I can check off of it, I feel more and more accomplished. Um, I wish I could say the same for my goals. I um, can develop some goals, but sometimes I can get sidetracked. But we're not going to go down that route because the reason for this video is just to remind myself that I can be in, um, inspired by my own self to get up and get things done. And this morning when I woke up, I had a mind frame of, okay, I'm going to go to the gym. But then I thought about, oh, Lord, it's going to be all those um, new year, new me people. But then again, I thought about it like, why oh, say something so negative when I could replace it with something positive? Like, oh, okay, well, the new year newbie people, that's good. They get a chance to see if the gym is for them or if it's not. But in the meantime, there are other places that I can get a workout in. Um, I, I, I even thought about going to the park just for the natural air, just for the natural, um, just to go on a nature walk, maybe with a little music in my ears. And just, you know, so if I have to just um, modify my morning workout routine, 
um, if the gym is going to be too full because that's one that's one of my pet peeves i do not like when i go to the gym and there's not a single equipment that i can get on because new year means new goals and a lot of people start the year off like at the gym and um and that's a great goal and i encourage everybody to try to fit it in and later on down the line it began to kind of scale off a bit and then you know you have time to really get in there and do your workout I don't like to put my shoes on, go down the street, and 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 basically just to compete with somebody for a machine. Um, on the other hand, I do have a personal trainer that I did plan on going to work out with them today, but looks like today they closed their office down. So again, there's other routes, there's other ways to do it. So I'm gonna go just probably do a nature walk. Um, but anyways, I said all that to say, instead of looking at something in a negative perspective, just reframe your thoughts and not so much just with this gym thought, but just with everything that I do, just trying to reframe my thoughts on a lot of stuff. Because again, revisiting the old me, the seeing the glass as half full me, I've always replaced something negative with, with something positive, And I think it got me to where I am today. Well, it got me to where I've been um, years ago, and then I've had a, ch a chance, a time where, um, what they say, you surround yourself with negativity, be careful, because then it can rub off on you. So I won't even say that. I would say that you are who you are, and if you allow something, then it's on you. It's not on the other individual, but I do think it's very important to surround yourself with positive individuals and, um... And if you see that the, your surroundings, whether it's your job, whether it's whatever you spend your time around is making you um, come out of your character or turning you into something that that's not um, something that you like for yourself, I say make that change. And sometimes you sit and you try to wait it out. Um, even if it's like I'm sounding like it's with a relationship, like some people stay in relationships and try to wait it out. And then at the end, you, you you know you become a person that you wasn't because the relationship wasn't fulfilling for you or even a job sometimes our job fo uh, forces us to toughen our skin have a little snap back to us and just kind of like we lose that that funk like that that good energy in us because we're so swarmed in around a lot of negativity and that is not acceptable in 2024 we're kicking that to the door so I'm again stopping things in the tracks when they begin when the thoughts begin to develop let's say no to anything negative because negative feelings make you feel very negative inside and that's not us baby we, we don't do negativity over here so um there also has been some eye-opener things for me um as far as in some grounds that i just want to set for myself and just be consistent with it um but I did just want to come on here and hop on here and just tell everybody to make sure you are um, doing your thing to make sure your 2024 is going your best. And if that means to rearrange some things, do things a little different, to see a difference, I say go for it. You know, again, my morning, I'm trying to do more journaling. I'm doing more money managing. Um, just things that make tea feels like tea, you know, make me feel like me. Um, it, it, anything that makes me feel like it's, it's making me feel complete. And so what that looks like for you, I'm not sure. But all I'm going to say is make sure you step into your, your true inner self in 2024 and make it the best. If it's, if it's, if whatever it means for you, if it means being a better sister, a better mother, a better spouse, a better friend, whatever that means for you, I just pray that you all take into an account our actions we display in, our energy that we're surrounding ourselves with, and just let's just go out 2024 with a bang, you know, new year, um, a better me, and if anything, I'll see y'all in the rest of 2024, and drop a comment down below if there's something that you feel like you want to switch up and and just kind of modify. Not so much new year, new me, but new year, better me. And if you was good last year, you know, you can top that with being great, you know, um, 
excellent, fantastic, whatever it is. Okay, but anyways, thank y'all for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and um, subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for getting me to close to 2,000 um, subscribers. Um, I would like to be more consistent with this YouTube journey. So thank y'all again, and I'll see y'all in the next one. And before I end this video, let's just address this elephant in the room. I know y'all see my rose back there, but your girl is unbothered. <clears throat> I do want you to know that on this channel that I do want to be me. I just want to be unapologetically me. And would I have the best aesthetics? Probably not. Am I your like top of the line, most um, inspirational person you might be trying to look up to on this channel? No. I don't have it all together, but I'm working towards getting myself together. And that's what matters the most. And that's what I want y'all to know as far as in stepping into this 2024 or whatever you add in your life. Just know that to accept you for who you are. And if there's anything that you don't like about yourself or just say that you want to perfect in your life or get better, go for it. I'm all about um, leveling up. I'm all about self-care. And I'm all about just loving on those that love on me and reciprocating energy when it's the same way it's given to me. But I did want it to, before I ended the video, to address that thing, that the, my little rose in the back. <clears throat> but um, like I said, I love to eat. Um, I do love to work out. It's a balance. And, and if I have a little roll or two, hey, until I'm ready to get it sucked out again, we are gonna deal with it. But any other thing that comes on my channel, um, I, I just wanna be consistent with what I'm doing. So everything probably just won't be um, as filtered as um, some others like it to be. But if you are rolling with me, you are rolling with me. And the goal is to just keep growing. And if you stay tuned to my channel, my my channel is really not based on something that i just have planned um i do want to plan more um to give you more content but in, in the meantime it's just about picking up my camera and staying in tune with the family and if you've already hit that subscribe button and you've been following me along my journey i do thank you very much and we'll see next year around this time where do we end up but i just want to thank y'all again and i just want to come in and address that part I hope y'all have the blessed, the very best 2024.